one to take no for an answer. Amazing, and congratulations. No one ever gave her the memo that Muslim women were supposed to be passive good girls. This is my family in a nutshell. The Disco King, the Troublemaker, JFK Jr. minus the plane crash, the Brainiac, the Goth, the Hippie, the Greaser, and the Metrosexual, and me. Oh my God, I love drag queens. Oh no, uh, I'm, I'm an actor. Shh, you're so beautiful in Tate Talk. I can already see myself relating to this movie. Writer and director, the Persian version, Mariam Kesharvaz joining us. Welcome to San Diego, Mariam. Good morning. Good morning from LA. Good morning. I mean, you're not that far. You could just hop in a car and come oh, hang out with us down here. I we know. Persian bar Darn. Down here. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get my dance groove on and head on over there. Yes, you do. <laughs> Speaking of all, all the dance and, and, the, and the Persian culture, this new movie that's out, it's going to be showing in San Diego very, very soon called Persian Version. For those who may not have heard about this, what is it? Uh, it's a family story about my uh, parents coming to America from Iran in the 1960s, where I discover that the reason that they came to America is not what I've been told, that actually they came because they were escaping a big scandal. So the film traces three generations of women's stories, both back in Iran and here in America. Um, and it's a fun comedy with lots of dancing food and what it means to be an immigrant to come to this country and yeah. look for a new life. And, and you, you say fun dancing food. I think those are the best words to describe sometimes the, the <laughs> whole Persian culture, right? But also the, the big families, the mothers, those types of you know relationships are so important and not just the Persian culture, but many cultures. Yeah, I mean, that's the core of the film is kind of me growing up. It's very autobiographical. So it's my struggle with my mother to kind of understand her as an immigrant and why she's so tough on me. So the film kind of traces um, me trying to find out what the truth of my mother is and goes through the different decades as she starts off struggling as an immigrant and becomes this super successful um, businesswoman um, and all of the things that she left behind to become an American and all of the trauma that she left behind this, and how yeah. she kind of, you know, puts all the pressure on her only daughter because I grew up in the film with eight brothers in real life with seven and one bathroom wait, 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 in New York down. City. Wait, you grew up with who? <laughs> I had, uh, in real life, I had seven brothers in the movie Eight. Um, you so have the story seven also... brothers? That's a whole <laughs> conversation in itself. Yeah, well, why did my parents want a girl? That's a lot of what the story traces. Like, they were desperate to have a daughter. Oh. And it kind of, like, goes through the history of our family, like, trying to find See, out See, I'm relating is. to little Pisa. I have three boys, and I really wanted a girl, and I got my, my first girl in our family after 30 oh, years. Oh, congrats. So, yeah, so all of these, I understand. Yeah. I understand. Look, this film <laughs> so good from what I'm hearing. You guys won an award, too, and it's Sundance? We won the Audience Award and the Best Screenplay. When your family sat down to watch this, I got to imagine in the little clips that we're seeing, were you nervous about what they were going to say and what you did with your life so story? So nervous to make a film about your family. <laughs> um, I think the key was always, at least for my brothers, I cast people that are a lot hotter than them. Then, you know, the actors are much hotter than the real life people. <laughs> So they were super thrilled. They're like, of course I looked like that before I lost my hair. And, you know, it's very playful. Um, so I think I make fun of myself the most. You know, I grew up playing basketball. My, my twin brother was a cheerleader. Uh, my parents were always trying to understand <laughs> what how things were so different in America. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think my mom, this is really my mother and I story. So I had to be you know, super respectful, even in making a comedy around my mother's story. Um, so she said that I did her justice, which is the best review. Oh, she did say that. That's good. That's yeah. that's a good thing then. If She's Mama a tough June. lady. So, you know, uh, if she says that, Aren't a I think lot I'm of on Persian the mothers, though, and a lot of mothers from, you know, just different cultures, they're usually, they're tough. And some of it could have to do with just the journeys that they go through in life, you know, immigrants and coming here. and. They almost have to be tough, no? You know what it is? It's like we often think our parents, when they come from other countries, they have to be empathetic to yeah. the, the new way of life. They have to understand what it means to be American. And this film is about a writer, director, myself, trying to understand who my mother is. And for me, for the first time in my life, to truly be empathetic to my mom and to see what where she came from, what her hopes were before she got married, all the things that led up to where she is now 
it was such a great um it was such a great uh lesson for me because mm. i think we judge people that are different than us um so readily and this film is about empathy it's about community it's about loving people that are not like you and just accepting them and being able to to forge a life together even if you're not exactly the same. I love it. You said it very, very well and I'm excited that it's going to be showing here in San Diego. I know it's popping up in other cities and there's previews. I missed the one up in uh, Orange County, but it is coming to San Diego so you can see the Persian version here. It's on October 27th at the Angelica Carmel Mountain uh, and November 3rd at Reading Town Square. You can go to foxysandiego.com, click the scene on tab for more information. Good to see you, Mariam June. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. All right, we'll take, a short, we'll take a short break. We'll be right back.